under the leadership of the former President of the Dominican Republic, Dr. Leonel Fernandez. Global Foundation for Democracy and Development is dedicated to the advancement of global collaboration and exchange relevant to Dominican professionals, institutions and general audiences in the homeland and abroad. As we celebrate the fifth year of this program, it continues to be a delight for GFDD to reach out to the Dominican community living in the U.S. and to all those interested in the Dominican culture, and bring them an array of interesting and pertinent themes and different ways to celebrate. Through the Dominican get-togethers, GFDD promotes understanding and appreciation of Dominican culture, values, and heritage and creates opportunities for discussions of contemporary issues relevant to Dominican society in the homeland and abroad. La montaña, la lucha de Ana, biodegradable, quien manda, and lago en recreo are some of the Dominican films screened through this program in several countries. In 2014, GFDD teamed up with the Dominican Mission to the UN, the American Chamber of Commerce of the Dominican Republic, Dominicans on Wall Street, and the New Jersey Institute of Technology to host several events. A GFDD tradition to share time with partners and friends and promote fundraising. Miami and New York were the exquisite venues to host the two GFDD golf tournaments of 2014. 200 players attended the fourth and fifth editions, including figures from the philanthropic field, prominent sports figures, and others who, through the years, have supported the Foundation's programs. In 2014, GFDD adds another movie to its short productions portfolio. The 2013 GFDD production, Garbage or Resource, A Dominican Republic Experience, won three prestigious awards in 2014, following its successful screening as an official selection in 13 international festivals. During 2014, GFDD organized and proactively participated in many workshops, conferences, and high-level meetings and discussion panels. By celebrating the DREF, 
GFDD offers insights into attitudes and actions that will contribute to the protection and rational use of natural resources and promotes awareness of the importance of sustainable development in the Dominican Republic and abroad. Ecohuertos promotes the creation of organic and sustainable vegetable gardens in schools and communities throughout the Dominican Republic. This year, Recrearte successfully engaged all levels of society and empowered many marginalized groups, such as disabled youth, the elderly, and female inmates, providing them with a sense of purpose and self-worth. Underserved students and communities had the opportunity to develop an emotional bond with the environment and appreciate the natural heritage they share. Youth are inspired to become activists in their own communities and to work together for a common cause. Conservation, protection, and sustainable use of natural resources experienced and learned firsthand. The Spanish and English online versions were enriched every day with up-to-date news and national and international articles. Writers and contributors of different areas of expertise provided new valuable entries. The cities of New York, Santo Domingo and Santiago hosted the year-round environmental film screenings and workshops. The program showed a diverse selection of quality films on critical environmental issues from past editions of the DREF, such as Mother Caring for Seven Billion, Antarctica, Planet Ocean, La Montaña, and GFDD's production educational expedition to Pico Duarte, among others. For the third consecutive year, the Globo Verde Dominicano Award gave Dominican filmmakers, young professionals, and students an unprecedented opportunity in the country to create audiovisual content on issues related to the environment and the ability to showcase their work to national and international audiences. Interdom produces cultural exchange between students, universities, professionals, businesses, and non-governmental organizations on both national and international scales. Interdom works with universities and professors to develop short and long-term faculty-led courses and field trips with highly specialized content. In 2014, the program provided opportunities for six MS, MA, and PhD candidates to conduct high-level research in the Dominican Republic on issues related to socioeconomic sustainable development. The Global Dominican Academic Exchange brought Dominican students to Harvard University, Georgia School of Law, and the University of Pennsylvania where they were introduced to the American style of liberal arts education. 
The GDAE encourages dialogue between Dominican students and their Dominican American counterparts. The GFDD Global Roundtable's online broadcast program brought together 11 of some of the most prominent figures on the global scene to discuss issues of international concern. As a non-profit organization with observer status with various UN agencies, GFDD attended public sessions of intergovernmental meetings and conferences, made oral statements, and circulated written statements related to the agenda of the UN. GFDD also organized side events in parallel to the UN meetings. GFDD kept providing significant support to the Model UN, Model OAS, and Model Inter-American system, bringing valuable learning and networking experiences for thousands of youth in the country. In the same way, as a civil society organization affiliated with the OAS, GFDD was an active participant in the OEA's meetings and activities. Adding to its collection of dozens of books, the book Toward Sustainable Development and Green Economy in the Dominican Republic was launched during the DR Environmental Film Festival. The book promotes hands-on daily tips to green up our everyday lives and businesses while discussing international best practices and lessons learned on sustainability. The DREF blog continued to raise awareness among the public while providing deeper understanding of national and international environmental issues to Dominicans as well as the rest of the world. The publication El Metro and the Impacts of Transportation System Integration in Santo Domingo was launched as an audiobook on Amazon, Audible, and iTunes websites. GFDD celebrated the launch of its new English and Spanish blog, the Global Roundtable Issues blog, where GFDD staff and invited experts discuss current issues of global importance. Our YouTube channel grew this year to reach up to more than 500 educational and promotional videos. In collaboration with a wide array of global partners and leaders in multilateral institutions, nonprofit organizations, think tanks, academia, and other centers of knowledge and research, and through its 20 programs, 12 websites, print and digital publications and blogs, as well as educational, professional development, and public awareness activities, GFDD keeps working for the betterment of the Dominican Republic and the world. We hope to inspire you to join us in our efforts to engage in a bright present and continue creating a prosperous future.